Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys a new mold that we have. Um, we're going to be doing a tree bark cup with this mold. You're going to need air dry clay. This is just kind of what I had here. So um, you can use Sculpey air dry or whatever brand you prefer. You're going to need your wood grain inks, um, whatever you, you prefer. But I'm going to be using caramel, brown, and cinnamon. These are all Marabou. They are on our website. You're going to need your white flat paint. Some medicine cups to put your alcohol ink in. Um, whatever tumbler you prefer. We're going to be using our 20 ounce skinnies. They do have a slight taper to them. Um, it's not too awful bad, but there is a taper. We have prepped the cup, washed dried it, alcoholed it, um, and sanded it with 220 sandpaper. And so what we're going to do when you're working with air dry clay, it starts drying immediately. So I always keep saran wrap over the top of it. Okay, so for this cup, we're going to leave the bottom clean because I want it to sit flat. Um, this is going to make it rough and bumpy. We're going to be doing the sides. I only sanded up. I left about a half inch at the top because I'm going to stop right at the lip so that I get a good epoxy seal. But you're just going to take your clay. You can roll it out with a roller if you want. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to press it on in sections. And you want it to be thick enough that it can take shape from the mold. Okay, I just press it. Again, it's going to be something like a tree in the end, so it doesn't definitely doesn't have to be perfect. And just press it on. At the end, I'm going to cut the top anyway, so if it goes up too far, that'll be okay. I'm going to do one side at a time because I don't want it to start drying out too much until I get to it. And just keep it up around that edge there because I want it on the bottom. Apologize for all the racket in the background. I have youngins and they're not being too quiet right now. Alright, so we're just going to keep pressing it around until we get the whole cup completely covered. But before I move to the next side, I want to go ahead and start with my mold. To start giving it its texture. Alright, so this is the mold. You can see the area that looks like tree. We're just going to press it in into the clay. And you can see the shape of tree bark 
starting to take shape. And you're just going to press it in all over. This mold is seamless, so it does not have an edge. The design goes all the way to the edge. You can see all the different different inventions and it really looks like a tree there. Piece of glitter in there. Go figure. And another one. Okay. So I'm gonna finish the whole cup and when I get it completely wrapped, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we have the clay all the way around. And I'm going to show you, we just kind of, you're going to take it and press your mold. I just pick different areas of the mold and just kind of press it in to that clay to give it that texture. Alright, and then get it all the way. And like I said, just... Pick different areas of your mold so that you're getting the different textures. It's not the same pattern just over and over again. All right. And you'll eventually have it looking like a log all the way around or like a tree okay i don't want to go over the rim this is going to be after it's air dried we're going to spray paint the entire thing because we're going to alcohol ink it so this is actually going to be white as well all right so i kind of like the way that it's looking if you want to add a heart right now would be the time to add that you can use pretty much anything because all you're going to be doing is flattening your clay so say you want to do the heart we'll start right here and you're just going to kind of Flatten out the area that you want that's going to look kind of carved when you get done. Alright, and you just, just kind of make it look like someone carved into the wood. And you can put initials, um... Whatever you want in there. So that's what we're going to try to do here. Is just. Flatten it out just enough. To where it looks like. But I want us to leave a little texture. So we're going to leave a little bit of. Line. That way. You can kind of see the heart. But it's still looks like you've carved it into that wood and it's not not completely solid not completely straight because if you did that in a tree you're not going to get it perfect it's going to have those lines and those kind of rigid looking areas All right, so there's going to be our heart where we're going to put the initials in after we're done. And we'll fill that in um, when we get, get to that step. All right, so go back over it and look make sure you haven't missed any of your clay make sure it has plenty of 
the uh, the texture that you want and that kind of thing okay now the top I want to leave a small lip so that my epoxy has a little extra to grab onto and not just the clay so I'm leaving a little bit of a lip up here I don't want it too big but I want it to be there so I'm gonna go back around this and kind of bump that clay down a little bit all the way around and then once you do that of course you want to go back and, and just make sure that the where you've bumped it has some some wood grain texture there can't see the camera so I'm hoping all this is still in view for you guys and again I've got kids and husband and TV going and they're walking through here with their radio and I apologize but I wanted to get this video done and I didn't have any anywhere else to go to do it so all right that looks pretty good for what I'm wanting it to do. Just kind of make sure it's you've got your your texture all the way around your cup. Because once this dries, you would have to really mess with it to give it to do anything. Um, right now it's still soft and you can do what you need to so make sure you get all the details you want on there before it dries all right so that's how i want it to look i think looks pretty good um i'm gonna let this air dry for a couple days then i'm gonna spray paint it and after i i'll show you guys the where it's dried before i paint and then show you the next couple of steps with the alcohol inks okay okay so it's been about 48 hours and this has dried um i wanted to show you guys before i move to the next step as it dries it contracts it gets smaller so it's kind of cracked and made its little break away from the cup so what I'm going to do is liquid fusion this to my cup. I'm going to be using the liquid fusion. Um, we have this on the website. So I'm going to use this. I'm just going to put it all over my cup, put this on, and then take rubber bands and go around it to hold it in place. And then, of course, we'll fill in all the spot that is open. I'll just redo that with clay, go back over it with my mold, and then uh, let that dry. And hopefully it will not spread any further since it's already done its, it's uh, shrinking. Um, we'll put a little excess here, you know, that way if it does, maybe it'll kind of keep it together. Um, but I'm going to do that now, and as soon as um, that gets dry, we'll move on to the next step of getting it painted. Or alcohol inked. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do paint or if I'm going to do the alcohol inks, but um, but I'm going to glue it on and then I'll record the next step when I get to that. Okay, so our cup is completely dry. The adhesive has dried underneath it, and the clay is completely dry. Um, I did a test area with my brown alcohol inks, and I've decided not to use those. I'm going to use micas instead. So what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to take my black mica and paint it into the deeper crevices of the cup for my backgrounds. Then I'm going to be using custom mica number four, silver gray mica, and jade pearl mica. This is going to be for the moss. Um, I am going to use the caramel alcohol ink just for the heart uh, I'm going to paint that in because we're going to go back and put initials or something in there 
Um, for the moss, I will be using my multi-purpose glitter adhesive. Um, for the names, we're going to be using uh, number 98 chestnut brown and 102 raw umber. These were out of the alcohol inks that we pre-sold several months back. Um, but we will have the Marabou alcohol ink markers soon as they get them shipped out. So what I'm going to start off doing, I'm going to go ahead and paint my heart in and let it be setting and drying. I'm just going to use a, just a small, small tip brush and we're just going to paint it in. I'm not going to do it too perfect because you know when you carve wood it's not going to be so just kind of go and you can see the the little lines and the crevices that we left for details okay so we have our heart. Just kind of highlight it a little bit. Give it a few little shadows on the sides and kind of in the corners, the edges. Just to give it the dimension that we want it to have. Okay, so there's our heart. Put it to the side. And then I'm going to take my black mica and just take, it's a stiff brush, it's not, not soft, it's pretty stiff. And I'm just going to go in and add it into my crevices. I'm not going to do the, the entire cup this way just kind of here and there <laughs> just to give it depth and dimension Okay, so I'm going to go around and do the entire cup this way, and then um, for the sake of the video, as soon as I get that done, I'll come back and show you the next step with the next mica. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I've got my black put into the crevices of the cup all the way around. So my next step is going to be, I'm going to use the custom... Yeah, I'm going to go with the custom mica four for the next step. Okay. This is a soft bristle brush. And I'm just going to kind of brush this over the rest of the cup. I may have to use a little bit stiffer brush for that. All right, let's try a little bit stiffer here. So we're going to brush this one on all over. And just kind of give it a good, a good coloring there. And you can see the, the darker where the black was kind of shining through.
Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next. I'm going to take this silver gray and go over that. It's going to give it the shimmer without glitter. Um, if you don't want the shimmer, you can do something, you know, if you want to just stick with the the darker gray, that's fine. But I've I want it to have a little bit of a shimmer. I'm not putting glitter on it, so I want to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Mike is going everywhere. And just kind of brush it on. And I may, just to get it a little bit darker, I may just do a light dusting of the black over all this. Just to, I'll show you what that's going to look like in case I decide to do that. Just kind of, kind of lightly baste it on there. As you can see, the, the black kind of coming through and giving you your dimensions. So I'm just going to continue and put this custom mica all the way around. I'm just kind of paint it in and you can keep adding to it if you want it to be a little bit darker. Just go all the way around. Make sure you get your edges because you'll see those pretty good once you get ready to epoxy Micah's messy so if you have a, a mask you want to wear it and gloves of course go back over put my shimmer kind of here and there And just be careful hey. with it because it is clay. Sorry. My son didn't know I was videotaping. Um, it is clay, so you be careful because you can chip it before you get your epoxy on it. I'm going to go back and forth until I get the color that I kind of want on there. You could do this with paint too if you wanted to. Um, just get it. And get it to your edge of your heart. All the way around.
And like I said, you can do this with paint if you want to because it'd probably be easier with paint. I just don't have on hand the colors I would want for trying it, so. And just go back and forth between those two colors until I get it exactly like what I'm wanting. Okay. And you have to just remember your mica is a powder, so it can rub off if you have a lot of excess on there. So just. We're going to also clear coat this beforehand, before I epoxy it, just to keep everything from moving. Okay, so when I get ready to get it clear coated and then I will work on the moss, um, I'll show you all that step too. But I'm just going to play with it a little bit and get get it how dark I want it. Um, but like I said, you can see the darker where the black kind of shows through. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to let this set. Um, I can't clear coat it tonight so we'll have to move on to the next step tomorrow um, but I will show y'all that whenever we get to that point right now is when I would go ahead and put the initials in but since this is a tutorial cup I'm not sure which one of my kids is going to take this cup so I'm going to find out before I do their initials and I will I'll make sure that that's in the video as well Okay, so we have clear coated the clay after getting the grays and the blacks on there. I'm going to now put on light brown mica and I'm going to go with the hunter green instead of the jade because it's a little bit darker. And so all I'm going to do is kind of alternate between the two just to give it a little more color. And of course it's going to be shiny because these are pearl micas. But it's going to do what I want it to do in the end maybe. I'll try to hit some of the higher, not down where the black was, but some of the higher areas with these colors. And I'm just going to do that all over, all the way around. I'm going to go with a smaller brush for the green because I don't want so much of the green as I do the other. I just want it to kind of highlight some areas. And I'll just kind of go back and forth, back and forth until I get it the way that I want it to look. And once I get that done, we will clear coat that again, clear seal it, um, and then we will do it, we'll do our initials and then we'll start our epoxy process. Okay, so I have gone through with several of the black and the gray and the green micas and just kind of put it here and there and scrub it all over. And now I'm going to go over the top of it with the brown alcohol ink. 
very lightly. Um, my son was the one that decided he wanted this cup, so he wants brown on it. So we're just gonna add it very lightly with a rough brush just to give it a little more depth and dimension and make it look a little more realistic. And you're just going to do that all around. Just until you get it the way you want it to look. And you can use any color that you like. I just had that on hand. So that's what we're using. some areas a little bit darker than the others and it will add to your effect. And he wants the bottom left silver. You don't want me to put the rings or anything in it so I'm going to leave it alone. Um, if you wanted to add the rings, you could either paint the bottom, water slide them on, or you could do them with the alcohol ink. Or you could just do clay all the way around and do your pattern. I was just afraid it might not set perfectly even if I did that, so we didn't. And you can see the different tones of mica coming through under that ink. But it just gives it a little bit more of a realistic effect. Okay. So for the heart. So I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol and just clean up this edge just a little where that brown, the dark brown went in a little further than I wanted. Alright, so his initials are MM. So we're going to put that in there. You could also, before you started doing any of the detail work, you could carve the initials in while the clay was wet, but I wasn't sure who was going to end up with this, so we're just going to kind of make it look carved a little different. And then I'm going to spray it with a clear coat and then epoxy it. And once it's done epoxying, I will add to the end of the video and show you the finished cut. 